Yes, everyone, Johnny from Johnny's Driving School. We're here in it. Back again with another video. This ain't a motivational speech. It's not a, it's not one of their motivation videos. You know what? I think I'm gonna add that. You know them kind of slow, sad song to it. You know, a little suspense and that. Cause I feel like before your driving test, you might need a little pep talk. And some instructors might not give that. They might just be on some. But yeah, man, good luck for your test. And that might not be enough. You might want that little push kind of thing. Or you might need that little push kind of thing. You know what I'm saying so. Before your driving test, just make sure you watch this video. Sixth of August today, I make sure Jamaican Independence Day, the motherland, homeland, yeah. We got all my Jamaican people, we got my dad, dad Jamaican, mom's Congolese, you know what yeah, man. Might even turn up tonight. But yeah, man. When you're on your driving test, try your best to just focus. You might have problems outside of your driving. I don't know, bailiffs at your door. Your man's cheating on you. You're in debt. You bought a car last week. You didn't have insurance, so they've clamped it, you know? For the next 30, 40 minutes to get all your problems, you need to focus. That's the most important thing right now. A minute, not even a minute, a second yeah, of lack of focus that could contribute to you failing. That one minute, that 30 seconds, that 10 seconds that you lacked focus might be the reason why you failed. Do you want to make sure you're focused? Make sure that you're focused. Forget all your problems. Because the feeling that you get after passing your driving test, I can't even describe it. Go speak to someone that's passed their driving test and ask them how they felt after they got their license. Part of focusing as well is the driving test, you got to remember, it always starts from the minute the examiner says your name and you sign the declaration to the very end where you switch off the key. Don't think you can go do 90% of the test and then just outside the test center you mess up and you're going to pass. It's not going to happen. It's from the very start to the very end. But make sure you're focusing from start to finish on your test don't watch what the examiner's doing the examiners they'll be using a, a, a ipad the ipad now has got a small screen so what's the point in you looking the examiner might even be type their ipad that they're going on a date next week or keep this day free i might be there now i got a football match to go to i gotta pick up the kids or something you don't know what the examiner's putting on their ipad so don't even watch you just focus and you pass your driving test of course if you drive safe whilst you're on your driving test always remember it's not about getting from here to there quick examiner don't give a if you can get from here to there quick it's about getting from here to there safely yeah so it's not about getting from a to b quick it's about getting from a to b safely can you be the safest driver if you can't show them that you can be a safe driver for the next 30 40 minutes they're going to be thinking well so what the next 20 years how are you going to be safe you couldn't demonstrate that in the 30 40 minutes of your test i can't give you your license if you fail your driving test, just go for it again. Taking what the examiner's got to say, the reason why you failed, discuss it with your instructor, get some more practice, get lessons outside of lessons, use YouTube, watch other drivers, and just go for it again. You can't, or you can appeal for it, but the process for appealing is long. In that time you're appealing, you'll be able to get another driving test and just go for it again. It's not going to change the decision. The most you'll get is a free uh, driving test, but yeah, man, the process is long. It's not even, in my opinion, it's not even worth it. Failing a test is always going to be hard to accept especially if you feel like you've done a good drive or it wasn't that deep i feel like a lot of people don't actually understand why they've failed and what contributes to it is in that moment you're in your feelings you're upset you're sad you're angry so when the exam's explaining it you're thinking oh allow me man come on bro. what are you talking about man allow that buzz man come on you just want to film and because you're angry and sad you're just thinking oh this guy's talking man or this woman's talking Nah, man, you want him to fail, man. You had it in for me. I've had people fold a race card. Oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, it's because, yeah, I'm Russian and she's Polish. And then you've got people that will say there's a, a there's a quota. In my opinion, I don't think there's a quota. But same time as well, it's like, let's imagine you're a police officer. You started a job now and in six months, you ain't arrested anyone. The people higher up, they're going to look at it like, hmm, you're not doing your job properly. How can you have not arrested anyone in six months? But I hear it when people say quota. Some people say, ah, oh, Monday's the best day to do your test. Uh, Fridays, Monday, like Friday morning, Monday morning. Really and truly, if you go on a test and you do your thing, that's it. There'll be no reason for you to fail. So even if an examiner's had 30 tests in a week and all 30's passed, if you've done your thing, you've done your thing. You, you, you passed your driving test. So, you know, don't think about, oh yeah, boom, like, oh yeah, this, this guy's this or she's that and blah, blah. No, just go on your test and do your thing. And remember, if you failed, just go for it again. It's not the end of the world. You're alive, you're well, your family's well, your, your money's good. You know, it might not be in it, but man, you're good, you're alive. In my opinion, I don't think anyone should be failing on the manoeuvres because by the time you're taking your test, you should have had enough practice. So part of the practice is always, if it's going wrong, you know how to rectify it. You don't have to like the manoeuvres, just make sure you've got the know-how. That's it, just have the know-how. you got to deep it like this. The test lasts for about 35 to 40 minutes. I say more than 95% get one manoeuvre. I've had a student do two manoeuvres. The manoeuvre, just the reversing part, will last you about, I'd say, 30 seconds to one minute. The test is 38 to 40 minutes and only for maximum one minute you're reversing. One minute, that's not even, what, 5% of your test. 
minutes so take your time don't rush it observe stay safe act on what you see when it's done if you're not 100 percent sure get out and check rectify it if you need the maneuvers they're all done slow don't rush it it's not about doing it quick it's about doing it safely with observations and control stalling in a maneuver is not a fail once twice take your time have it controlled keep observing with the maneuvers it's not like you're at traffic lights and the lights are green and you have to go and get a move on show progress no it's done at your pace go slow take your time keep observing make sure it's safe complete the maneuver secure the car if you're unsure get out and check if they come and ask you are you done they're giving you a clue to get out of the car and have a look yourself so get out the car secure the car get out the car and have a look if you're going to fail your driving test, make sure it's worthy of a fail. Don't come back to the test center and the examiner's telling you, oh, you failed because you were driving too slow. You was in a 30 zone and you are driving at 23 miles per hour and there's no reason for you to be driving at 23 miles per hour. Don't fail because you failed to stop at a zebra crossing. You drove in a bus lane. These are minute fails. Make sure the fail's worthy. I don't know, crash into a car or something. Not literally. All them time, money, effort that you've put in for some minute thing, you was in the wrong lane. It is a punch in the face. So make sure if you're going to fail your driving test, it's worthy of a fail. I have to reiterate this. If you fail, don't give up. But oh, again, it's not the end of the world. Essentially, the driving test is like this. You're just going to be following the road ahead unless the examiner says turn left or turn right. Just follow the road. Stay in the correct lane. Remember the correct lane is the left lane used for normal driving. The right lane is used for overtaking and turning right. If you're going to overtake, move into the right hand lane and then move back into the left. One of the most common reasons why people fail is, is the observations. The observation is not just looking in your mirror and, and going. It's acting on what you see. It's having a look at junctions, checking your blind spots before you move off, you know, and make sure you're safe. you got you got to act on what you see on the road. Don't just see something and you're thinking, oh, you know what, let me chance it and go. Like, don't force it. It's your driving test. Don't think you can go on the driving test and just drive slow. Drive at the speed limit. If it's a 30 year old, it's not always that you're going to be able to maintain the speed. Sometimes you might go over. If you notice it's going over, bring it down a bit. If you're too low, bring it back up. You're roundabout. Stay in your lane from start to finish. Yeah. If you're seeing, you know what, it might be a bit difficult, you're in the wrong lane, or the wrong way. you got to be strategic sometimes. I wish you all the best for your driving test. Stay safe, follow the rules of the road, act on what you see, and make sure you observe. Don't force nothing. Don't be, don't uh, go in no bus lane. Don't, uh, what else, what else? Don't go, uh, oh, I said observe already. Don't, especially don't force nothing, man. Don't force nothing. Watch your pedestrian crossings, your zebra crossings, your traffic lights, and get loads of practice. You can never practice enough, yeah? I wish you all the best. Johnny from Johnny's Driving School. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe.